Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel. In this video, we will see some numerical on condition code. So, in last video also we did the same and here some new examples we will see. So, see, two register contents are given to us and we need to perform the subtraction operation and after the operation is performed, we need to tell the value of carry 0, negative and overflow flag, right? And it is already understood that the numbers are in twos complement form because computer stores numbers in twos complement form with that we assume the numbers are in twos complement form so we first we need to do the subtraction we need not have to do with the number representation they are already given simply we need to do the subtraction operation so see for doing the subtraction operation uh, we are not going to use sub instruction rather we are going to use the add instruction only and how we are going to do that will make the negative of content of R2. Will negate the content of R2. How to do negate a content of register R2? By taking the two's complement of it, right? So R2's content is given to us. We'll take the two's complement of it, right? So R2's content is this one, right? This is given, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 bits are there. So Two's complement of this one we need to take. So what is the two's complement of it? We can do it quickly. It will be 0, 0, 1. And then we need to flip the bit. So 1, 0, triple 1. This is the two's complement of this. You can also see, you can match the result. It is matching, right? Next, what you need to do? Perform the addition operation of this one with the content of R1. R1 content is this one. So we'll do it. We'll perform the addition. So when we perform the addition, what is the result? See, first it will be 0, 0, see it is 0, then 0, this one will be 1, this one will be 1, this one will be also 1, this one will be 0 because 1 and 1 is what? 2 ones means it is 2, 2 means 1, 0 in binary. So here it will be 0 and 1 will be carry over. 3 ones means what? 3, 3 means 1, 1. So here it is 1 and 1 will carry over. Here also 1 and 1 carry over that will be discarded because in 2's arithmetic, 2's complement arithmetic, the uh, carry out from MSB is discarded. So the last one we are not going to take, right? So here our result is this one. See, my result is this one. Al already I explained how we are getting it. The result is this one. Now see, looking at the result, what will be the value of, value of carry flag? It will be 1 because there is a carry represented in blue color. 0 flag will be 0. Why? Because the result is not 0. Result is having some 1s are also there. So 0 flag will be 0. Then negative or sign flag. See, the value of negative or sign flag is nothing but the value of your MSB of your result. So what is my result? Only this part. What is MSB? 1. So it is a negative value. So sign flag value will be 1 and overflow flag will be 0. Why? Because see, my both the inputs are of the sign 1, 1. My result is also of sign 1. That means the result, there is no overflow and the result is or no overflow. And so overflow flag will be 0. So hope this setting of these flags are clear. If at all you need to tell the value of this result in decimal, how we are going to tell? Looking at the first one in my result. I know the value is negative. Simply take that. Then what you do? Take the two's complement of your result. So it will be 0, 0, 1. Up to here I'll take. Then flip the bits. So next will be 0. These four bits. Next will be 0. Then it is 1, 0, 0. What is the value? This is 2 to the power what? 0, 1, 2. This is 3, 4. This is 2 to the power 5. So 2 to the power 5 plus 2 to the power 2 is what? 32 plus 2 is 32 plus 4 is your what? Your 36. But the result is negative. So minus 36 is the result. Though it is not us, we have find it out. Right? So it is minus 36. Hope you have understood this. This is very simple numerical. Now one more numerical we will do. So see, see the numerical. This time it is said that there are two 8-bit registers are there, R1 and R2. Their values are given in decimal this time, minus 5 and minus 125 respectively. 
do understand values are represented in two's complement form find the values of the status bits uh, of this 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 particular flags after the addition operation is performed so this time operation is simple addition though uh, subtraction is also simple but we need to take the uh, that two's complement of the second operand but this time no need to do all those things simply do the addition but there is one but is there why because the numbers are not directly represented in two's complement form we need to represent so what is minus 5 in two's complement form minus 5 we know that the simpler method is what you can do in any ways so you can represent 5 using your 8 bits and then you can take the two's complement of that right that is also your this one what is that two's complement form of your uh, the representation of minus 5 or what you can do 2 to the power 8 minus 5 also you can do so what is 2 to the power 8 256 256 minus 5 will be what 251 so actually in decimal the value is 251 then you need to write the binary of 251 that you can do or what you can do you represent 5 in binary so 101 is 5 2 this is 1 plus 4 is your 5 then remaining 5 bits will be all 0, 0. The binary of 5 in your 8 bits because 8 bits are given. Now you take the 2's complement of it. So what is the 2's complement of it? It will be 1, it is 0, sorry, it will be 1, then 0, all 5 bits will be 1, 1, 1. This is nothing but the 2's complement of your, 2's uh, complement representation for minus 5, right? So see, already we have done this is 251 this form i have done and we have written the binary of 251 right so see either way you can do either way you can do wherever you find it simple you apply that i have done it in a this way right another one is so see how to find the binary of 251 that is also very simple what is 255 255 means all the 8 bits will be 1111 right this is 4 this is 1 right but in 255, uh, 255, all ones will be there. But my, my case is 251. How much it is less? 4. So at 4 place, you put this 0. Simply, this is the binary of your 251. Wherever you find it easy, you can apply, right? The second one is minus 125. So how to represent minus 125? What I will do? I will apply my method. 255 minus 125 will do. Then it is 131. Then 131, in 131, 128, with 128, you need to add what? Uh, 3, then it is 131, right? So 128 means this bit value is 1, and 3 means the last two bits will be 1, 1. This is 131, right? So this is the representation of minus 5, and this is the representation of minus 125. This part has to be very, very clear, then only the rest part can be done you can do it in any way right so see you may do it by representing 125 in binary that is also possible what is the binary of 125 right you know what is 127 all the seven bits will be your 111 right one two three four five your no, five one two three four five six seven all seven bits will be one then it is your 127 and this bit will be 0 if it is one to, uh, using 8 bits. And 125, how much it is less than 127? Only 2. So put the, at this place, it will be 0. Now take the 2's complement of it. So it will be what? 1. Then it will become flipping starts. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So see, this is similar to my this one also. You can use any of the methods. But your representation of two's complement form should be very, very clear. Whatever technique you are finding easy, you use either of the two, right? So now this is ready. Now we'll simply perform the operation, addition operation. So nothing much to do. Simply we'll do the addition. So see, one and one addition will produce what? Zero. This one will carry over, right? So three ones means here one, another carry will be there. So now again, it will be this one, na? So it will be here 1, right? Then this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 0, this 1 is carry over. So the result is this one. After the addition process, we'll get this as the result. Now, 
see the result of uh, the sign of the result is it similar to the sign of both the inputs here see in my case the sign of both the see it was not negative r2 sorry right it is positive means whatever r2 is given that we are directly using right my r2 content is this one that i am directly using so do not look at this sign this is by mistake it is there now see after doing the addition process we are getting this as a result and see the point to be observed is this sign flag value is sign bit is zero but here in both the cases it is one one that means there is a overflow there is a overflow right so see overflow flag will be one sign flag will be zero because the number is a positive quantity is it all zero no so zero flag is zero carry flag is one this is presented in your blue color right you can also see see 125 and 5 right both negative i am adding so it will be negative 130 right and using your 8 bits what is the range of numbers you can represent what is the range of numbers you can represent using 8 bits is negative 2 to the power i or this one what is that 2 to the power 7 n minus 1 right till what 2 to the power 7 minus 1 so this one is what 2 to the power 7 is 128 negative 128 Till positive one twenty seven, you can represent, but this value is minus one thirty. Due to that, you are getting that overflow flag as one, right? Hope this part is understood. Now quickly, we'll find out what is the value represented by this. This is a positive quantity, so please do not go for your finding the truth complement of it. So see, this is your positive quantity, and so simply need to tell the decimal of it. So zero, three ones are there. Then again, three ones and zero. So see, if all of them were your one one, then it was what two fifty five. You know that. But at this place, it is zero. That means who is missing? One twenty. Uh, uh, your this one is missing, right? This place your one twenty eight will be missing, and this place one will be missing. So other than these two quantities, everything is there. So you can do two fifty five minus one twenty nine. That will also give you the answer, right? So the answer is nothing but one twenty. Fifteen minus nine is six, right? This is four. Four. Four minus two is two, right? So answer is and two minus one is one. So answer is positive one twenty six. That means after addition of two positive quantities, sorry, after addition of two negative quantities, we are arriving at a positive value. That means it is a overflow. Hope this video is clear. this numerical is clear and if you are getting from my uh, explanations then please uh, like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you